All right, keep working those triangles. Mikawaj. Mikawaj. Is it all right if I call you Miko? Listen, you're our best player. You're under 20 years old and you're our vice captain. But word is going around the club that because of these outside offers, you're thinking about leaving us. No, chcę spróbować sił w wyższej lidze. Well, if you stick around, help us get promoted, you'll be in that division. Musiam spielać dla bardziej znanego fußball klubu, jeżeli chcę szafnąć się do reprezentacji. Well, I'm national team manager, and I'm asking you to stay. Poczekam. Ino do końca mojego kontraktu, jeżeli nie przyzwolicie mnie kurka wodna odleść. They really need to work on these player interactions in football manager. And we're here on 96.2 Radio Silesia. Your one-stop shop for all things music and football. Well, it's been a hot start for Schleswig-Holstein since Captain Ellis announced that he was going to take over the second division side. Three wins and one draw in their first four matches had the club sitting at third in the table in these early stages of the season. However, not all is rosy around the club, as rumors have begun cropping up that young star Mikołaj Warzyniak, who has three goals in his first four games, has announced his intention to leave the club on a free at the end of the season. Schleza take on top of the table Polonia Bitum in the last match before the upcoming international break where Silesia and Captain Nellis will travel to San Marino and take on Denmark here at home. The young manager has gotten off to a flying start for both club and country, but remains to be seen if he can continue his winning ways. The hour is 10 a.m. and we're back to the music here on 96.2 Radio Silesia. Welcome to the commentary box ahead of this all-important Silesian second division contest between Polonia Bitum and Schleza Wrocław. It's an exciting day for Silesia, and it's an exciting day for me because this is my first commentator job. My name is Janusz, and I'll be providing all of the play-by-play -play commentary for Schleza Wrocław this season. The players are about to take the field, so let's head down to the action. Polonia Bitum gets us underway here in their home stadium for this, the fifth match of the second division in Silesia. Polonia currently at the top of the table. Schleza in third. Has set us up for an early top of the table clash. Robo tries to play a ball into the box. It's sniffed out by a Polonia Bitum defender. Serpina, the left wing back, looking for space down the left wing, whips across in. Ends up at the feet of Pizarchuk on the opposite side of the field. Finds Horesh in a good area. Important tackle. Shot charged down by Tragic. And Polonia bit him away. Down the right wing. And they settle into an attack and launch it downfield back into the grasp of Schleza. Tragic here in the midfield. Playing Serpina down the left wing. Recycles back through Samietz. To the other center back, Warana. Forward to Robel, who had two goals in the last game. Oh, it's a shot from Horesh, and Mirush didn't look completely confident there. Early chances are all for Schleza. Early possession as well. Polonia Bittum in the attacking third now. Good defensive structure so far from Schleza. Polonia Bittum cycling it around patiently, but again trying the long ball, and again it's not there. Now Schleza come away with it through the midfield and Robel. Robel plays Horesh. Wojciechowski's shot is blocked. It's like there's an injured Polonia Bitum player. 
And Schleza appear to just continue play. Much to the chagrin of the Polonia Bitum faithful. And it looks like the left winger was injured there, but he will be capable to continue on. The Schleza coach encouraging the team out there. They've had a pretty good start to this game so far. Very defensively sound, creating a few chances. Morano with the header away. Pikarski at the edge of the box. He can't do anything with it, though. It's through Zadler. Zadler takes a shot. It's over the crossbar. Nowak never looked troubled by that one. Plony Batum back in the attacking third again. Across. Straight into the hands of Nowak. Plays it out to his center back. And Schleza builds from the back, finding Wachowski. He's in on Horesh! Horesh! Oh, Mirus makes a wonderful save there. Wachowski playing the beautiful through ball to his strike partner, the 17 year old Ukrainian Horesh. Easily the best chance of the game so far. It goes to Schleza, but a brilliant save by the Bitum goalkeeper. One minute before added time here in the first half, it's still nil-nil. Colonia Bitum trying to build through the middle here. Through their striker, Ropsky. Plays it back, and they recycle back to their center backs. Pikarski plays it to the right. And they cannot seem to break down this organized Schleza defense as the ball is intercepted by Urana. Wojciechowski trying to play Horesh in again. He does, and it looks like he is offside this time. Looks like that is going to bring us to the end of the first half. Chances have all been for Schleza. Possession as well. Let's get this second half underway. Haresh starts us off. Robel through Orana. Robel. Back to Haresh. Gabriel Afonso, the Brazilian, right winger. Right wing back. Mr. Pizarchuk, his right wing partner, and it's tapped out for a throw in. Schleza again on the attack here. Looking for Harash. Harash has Gabriel Alfonso on the right. Gabriel Alfonso. Looking for the pass. Finds Warginiak, the left winger. His shot is blocked. Out for the Schleza corner. Schleza had a lot of numbers in the box there, but they couldn't find anything there. Still, they've earned a corner. Robel takes it. It's headed out by Pekarski. Morzhiniak holds it in, finding space on the left wing there. They cycle it around through Gabriel Afonso. Gabriel Afonso takes down the right wing. Look like a foul, but nothing called. We play on. Gabriel Afonso is down hurt. Schleza content to continue playing and... Eventually we end the highlight there, but it looks like Gabriel Alfonso is okay. He's back up. Harash now. To the right to Gabriel Alfonso, who just got up off the pitch. Vince Pizarchuk cuts inside. He's on his own. The shot is blocked again by Mirush. Pizarchuk took that one on his right, telegraphed it to the far post, and Mirush was capable of the save. The corner is headed away. All the chances in this game have gone the away sides. But still, we are knotted up nil-nil through the 61st minute. It looks like the Schleza boss is preparing for some changes here.
Right after the substitutions, we're back in the action here. Schleza looked to build out the back. Through their goalkeeper, Nowak launches it to the center circle. No Schleza man in sight, though, as Polonia Bitton come away with it. Zagiel on the right wing. Launches across in. Oh, it's a really good chance. Polonia Bitton, the left winger there. Best opportunity for Polonia Bitton today, and he skies it over the bar. Completely unmarked. Serpina picks it up in the corner. Plays it forward. To Orzhiniak, through Murat. Murat plays it forward. Watch Yachowski. Loses it in the dribble. Rana recollects. Plays through Pizarchuk. Pizarchuk down the right wing. He launches in the cross. Watch Yachowski. The header goes up and over. Not the most clinical of finishing today. Looks like Schleza of Rotswaf have made a couple more substitutions. Musialik and Vanda, two wingers coming in. Free kick is taken. Musialik. Oh, Musialik. Looks like Polonia Bittem's goalkeeper was not anticipating that one, but he's lucky that it went right at him, and he's able to get a hand up and deflect it wide. It's out for a corner, which will be taken by Serpina. And looks like Igor Vanda, the young Ukrainian left winger, was a little too violent there. Gets a whistle for the foul. And we come down to the other end with Polonia Bitum. Still nil-nil here in the 86th minute. Schleza will probably feel hard done if they do not come away with the win in this game. Gabriel Afonso with the header away, but it's not the greatest one. That the header goes harmlessly over the crossbar. 15 shots to five. Lots of missed off-target shots today, but Schleza do look the more dangerous team. Igor Vanda in the box, but he can't get his head to it. Looking for a ball across. Finds Musialik. Ends up at the feet of Gal Gabriel Afonso. And that one's off the post. The header from Wojciechowski hits the post. Schleza, really unfortunate today not to have at least one goal. They definitely deserve one, but they have not been clinical. Zagiel, down the right wing. Cycles through Machowski. Only a bit done. Trying to steal this game. Zidler with the shot from 30 yards that careens off the crossbar. And Polonia Bitum almost snagged it. Only three minutes left, trying to work their way into the box here. They're pushing numbers up. And that might be the last chance of the game there, almost going Polonia Bittum's way. We're here 20 seconds past the added time, and that is the final nil-nil in this game. Schleza at Polonia Bittum. Schleza remain in third place. Polonia Bittum remain at the top of the table and we look forward to these two's match later on in the year. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks for coming out for today's game. Noc buď štajf nie je v našich šnikách, zadni šusy dochodzom i no zlasa. Doba doczy moje kroku kolonom, a w mgle wilki znam.